so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and fingers to try to keep this on the field. The beautiful thing that he does is throw that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, he starts to run into me, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers in every single game. And if you don't find the striking range early, Influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you wanted to be like Bruce Lee. You wanted to be that fast. You wanted to be that charismatic. You wanted to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Kabar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Obviously, in a nutshell. Just so why. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Now for the introduction, Ladies and here's gentlemen, the first This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Assassin. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. <laughs> Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eight. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice. Wow. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, and he countered him there with a beautiful straight right hand. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. And both guys really throwing with authority. 
Continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Well, he walked into his opponent's range there and ate that hook. He was unprotected, unguarded, and he's been susceptible to that hook in previous UFC fights. Got to figure out a way to move those feet and ultimately circle out and get that head off the center line. Nice strike. Lee's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Right punches there. Oh, just misses with the kick. Now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Are you ready? You ready? Second round underway. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Throws the right hand there. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Big punch lands through the middle. Single collar tie now. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice counter right hook there. Now connects with the right. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Do not back up. Let's go. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving the shit into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut. It was targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He's just keep making it split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. All collar tie. Back and forth we go. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Able to land a combination there. Kick attempt there, blocked. Big, powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. 15 seconds. 
Carnegie kick. Left punch is true. Just misses with the jab there. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Nice punch, Lance. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement, perfect position. What a huge blow and a big moment in this fight. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fight. That shot blocked by Lee. Spinning back fist. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go take that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Knee to the body. Both guys landing with conviction now. Big elbow there. Stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground time. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, away, and try to escape. Hey, where is he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Let's get that takedown and win the round. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And they separate. Another shot lands upstairs. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. Are you ready? Are you ready? There's no tell on that leg kick. Good punch, land. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Clean with the right hook. 
Paul. Really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. It's now to go. And he comes through with a big knee. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Ooh, what a punch. Switching stances here. Oh, what a fantastic fight to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Close guard. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lee. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. And they both stand up. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the... Oh! Look at that. Struggle's over. It's over. He's done. He's done. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. So let's get it to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee, Eve Levine, is going to stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 14 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout, Assassin! Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you set a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful.